All right, welcome back. This in this video, we're going to draw out um, two horizontal curves or one compound curve, and we're going to um, label everything and kind of show you guys how how uh, these two horizontal curves fit together to create one compound curve. So, first off, let's draw our first curve. Okay, I'm going to draw this in blue, and this curve is going to it's going to start here, and it's going to let's say end here right and the second curve I'll draw it in red it's gonna have a little a little smaller well okay this is not drawing there it is uh, it's gonna have a little smaller radius and it's gonna stop there okay so these two curves um, actually this is one you know one giant curve so I'm gonna draw a tangent from this BC and I'm gonna call this EC and really this is the EC for curve 2 but this is the BC for curve 1 and the tangent is gonna extend out here and then this tangent is gonna come out here All right? and this this angle so pretend for a minute this is just one smooth curve we said that this angle here, up here, we'll call it delta, is equal to the interior angle um, for, for one curve. Here, we actually have two different curves. And if we drew their, their respective tangent lines, uh, you know, however, however they're drawn, we have, I'm going to call this EC1. So this is where the end of curve for the first curve ends. And then, let me draw this in red. This, oops, this right here are the tangent, or the perpendicular, I'm sorry, these are the perpendicular lines uh, for the curves. This is BC1, I'm sorry, BC2. So you can notice that where where the curve, where the first curve ends, that's where the BC for the next curve is, right? So this is really curve one, this is curve two, okay? And each curve has its own angle. I'm gonna call this delta one, and I'm gonna call this delta two. So really, we can say that the total angle from this blue, so this total angle is really delta 1 plus delta 2. And if that's the case, that means this angle up here is delta 1 plus delta 2. Okay? So, um, and remember this is this is the point of intersection um, for both for both curves. Okay? Now, let's draw let's draw the long chords for both of these curves. So from BC1 to EC1 it's long curve, long chord number one, and from BC two to EC two, this is long chord two. Okay, and remember when I said that we can get rid of straight segments between two horizontal curves and draw a tangent. Well, this tangent, the tangent to EC and BC, EC one and BC two, um, looks something like this, right? So this is a tangent to this. This tangent line, very, 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 very important tangent line. Why? Because this is the tangent line to EC1 and BC2, meaning that the distance from BC1 to this intersection and EC1 to this intersection, it's the same. T, T1, T1. And this intersection right here, Pretend we didn't even have uh, the second curve. So if I if I cover this up and if I cover this up, you can see that um, this is just one curve with its tangent and the point where they intersect. Remember, from regular horizontal curves, is called the point of intersection. I'm going to call it point of intersection one because this corresponds to the blue curve. Same thing over here. We have point of intersection two. And this distance from the BC2 to the PI is T2. And EC to the PI 
is also T2. So this is a tangent distance from EC to PI. Both curves, right? Um, and here you have origin 1, I'm sorry, origin 2 for the red curve, and this is origin 1, right? That means this distance right here, this red distance is the radius of this curve, this red curve, and then this is also the radius of the blue curve. <clears throat> and one last point, um, the point where the first curve ends and the second curve starts, or where we drew this very important tangent line, this point right here is called the point of common curvature, PCC. The point of common curvature is where EC1 and BC2 are the same, right? Where one curve ends, that's where the second curve starts. At that point, this tangent, this very important tangent line is drawn, um, which creates the PI1 and PI2, um, and, and that's called the point of common curvature. The point of common curvature. Okay? And when we do problems for compound curves, really they're just two horizontal curves put together. Um, so if you wanted to find the length um, of this entire curve, well, you would just add length 1 plus length 2, right? And if you wanted to find, um, let's say you wanted to find delta 2, and you were given delta 1 and you were given the entire delta, and you know delta is equal to delta 1 plus delta 2. And if you were, you know, if you were given delta 1 and you were given the total delta, you can just plug it in here and solve for delta 2, okay? So in the next couple videos, we'll do um, some examples. And you'll notice that really, Kanban curves, not that scary. They're just hors two horizontal curves put together, and they're, they're horizontal curves that you can analyze separately. Alright, so see you then.